Feet just running the one too good at Hamilton on similar ground eight days ago. Was able to race off the same mark and has come from just off the pace in the hands of Aidan Blakemore to uh, claim the honours from Highway to Heaven, who uh, stood on nicely from further back with uh, the Stalking Moon, who struck the front with two furlongs to race, holding on for third. And Chinese Spirit uh, doing uh, best of those held up right at the back in fourth position. We'll be returning to air for race two at 220. We can see with a class five sprint handicap, six furlongs is the trip ahead of them. Going with that number four in the card, Yes You, leaving a field of seven runners. And uh, John Kirkup is currently heading up the market. The first time blinkers this afternoon for Michael Dodds. Connor Beasley takes them out uh, this afternoon. Ran OK over the seven for a long trip at Thursk last time. And his uh, favourite here to 100 of the Thursk. He's been well supported throughout the day. A fourth within for Tai Sing Ye and five to one for Elothera, who was successful at this uh, venue over the seven for a long trip. Back in July, hasn't been seen out since then. It's then 11 to 2 for Dancing Rave and 6 to 1 Amazing Grazing. Same price for Rattling Jewel, also when I last him out at uh, Lestil. It's 16 to 1 for the top mate Nadir. They're all quoted for race 2. Read Jonas for live commentary at 220. Here at 150, first number 9, Gamester's Icon, 4 to 1, favourite. Second number 10, Highway to Heaven, 7 to 1. Third number 2, The Stalking Moon, 9 to 1, all 14 ran. First of eight races on the card at air this afternoon was the Apprentice Riders Handicap, a mile was the trip, and uh, victory went the way of the Oliver Grinnell trained Gamester's Icon. The Sadoso 60s Icon had uh, shaped really well on defeat, just running the one too good at Hamilton on similar ground eight days ago, was able to race off the same mark, and has come from just off the pace in the hands of Aidan Blakemore to uh, claim that the honours uh, from Highway to Heaven, who uh, stood on nicely from further back with uh, the Stalking Moon, who struck the front with two furlongs to race, holding on for third, and Chinese Spirit uh, doing uh, best of those held up right at the back in fourth position. We'll be returning to air for race two at 220. We can see with a class five sprint handicap, six furlongs is the trip ahead of them, going with that number four in the card, Yes You, leaving a field of seven runners, and uh, John Kirkup, is currently heading up the market. The first time blinkers this afternoon for Michael Dodds. Connor Beasley we'll takes them out this seconds. afternoon. Ran OK seconds. over the seven for a long trip at Thursk last time and is a favourite here to 100 of the Thursk. He's been well supported throughout the day. A fourth within for Tai Sing Ye and five to one for Elothera, who was successful at this venue over the seven for a long trip back in July. Hasn't been seen out since then. It's then 11 to 2 for Dancing Rave and 6 to 1 Amazing Grazing. Same price for Rattling Jewel, also when I last him out at Lestil. This event starts. It's 16 in 30 to 1 for the top late Nadir. Seconds. They're all quoted for race 2. Read Jonas for live commentary at 2.20. Welcome back then as we go live once again then to uh, the Meteor AR. Race number 2 in the card coming up fairly shortly and we continue with the Sprint Handicap Class 5 as a grade. Uh, six furlongs as a trip, and Ten we go with seconds. number four in the card, Yes You, which reduces the field to seven runners. And let's take a check on Lisa's betting. John Kirkup in the first time headgear this afternoon is the uh, favourite at 11 to 4 for Trina Michael Dodds. And uh, Connor Beasley takes them out. Uh, run uh, respectably, a uh, last amount uh, behind Twin Appeal at Thursk over the uh, seven furlong trip. And last year, in action bats, the uh, headgear can just sharpen them up a little bit. For this uh, drop back in distance, but uh, there's going to be a real emphasis on stamina here uh, with the ground conditions uh, currently as they are. And uh, John Kirkup will certainly be staying on at the finish here. The first time headgear is 11 to 4 chance here, well supported in the market, having been uh, eased five pounds since the middle of June. So 4 to 1 for Elethera. This is the uh, Irish trained uh, runner. And uh, Sean Kieran on board claims the £7. Successful at uh, this venue over the 7 for a long trip in late July. He's been absent since, but uh, should be able to cope with this drop back in trip and is able to race off a £5 higher mark than that uh, victory last time. 4-1 to one shot here in the hands of Sean Kieran. It's a 9-2 for Dancing Rave. It was a winner of four starts back over this trip at Hamilton and uh, significantly that was uh, on softish ground was uh, third yesterday, in fact, uh, turned out, uh, turning out uh, quickly, just uh, 24 hours on, having uh, been uh, well supported in the market uh, for the uh, Omira camp, but uh, finished only a one-paced third that day behind Conga. We need to uh, improve a little bit on that level of form, but it's interesting that connections have elected to turn this filly out uh, just a 
second time in 24 hours. 92 shots here. The most of Danny Tuttle. Five to one there for amazing grazing. 13 to two brings in Tai Sing Ye. As the runners continue to fall forward into the gates. This one proving very much uh, a market drifter. And it's now eased out to seven to one. It was one of four starts back over this course and trip, but uh, that's uh, victory off a four pound lower mark. And as I say, he's been uh, eased it back despite the booking of Sean Davis clipping the three pounds. And it's an 18 to one upwards bar those. So everyone's uh, moving forwards into the gates here. We'll be underway very shortly for the second race of the day at Air. And Michael Dodstrain, John Kirk up in the first time blinkers. Heads the market here at 11 to 4, but uh, the Irish contingent have got a strong hand here as well with the likes of Ella Thera, who's been well backed in the ring at uh, 7 to 2 from 9 to 2. They need to follow up that uh, victory at this venue in July. A uh, race of a £5 higher mark here. And, this event, uh, dancing this event is now in chance. play. Turned out quickly, having finished third yesterday at Hamilton. Last one's going in. So, uh, favourite John Kirkup will be the last one to go forward into gate four. And that's it, they're off and racing. For this uh, Class 5 grade of handicap, six furlongs is the trip in front of them. Nadir dropped out uh, through the early stages, normally comes for a late run. And uh, meanwhile up front, it's John Kirk up in the first time blinkers, who shows good speed to lead the field through the first furlong or so. Uh, being tracked towards the near side by a rattling Jill, towards the far side, Amazing Grazing has got a prominent pitch and... Setting down through the early stages, Elothera now comes through to just about take over at the head of affairs. So, moving through then towards the first quarter of a mile, and it's a new leader here as Elothera takes over from Rattling Jewel, giving chase in the second position. Amazing Grazing already being bustled on the far side. John Kirk up just uh, tracking those leaders, travelling smoothly at this stage. Near side, Dancing Rave. And then further back in the field then to Tai Sing Ye. He's got work on as has Nadir. Heading down now towards the final quarter of a mile and down the centre of the track, John Kirk up now comes through to launch his challenge and now promptly takes over from the front running Elathera. Dancing Rave is giving chase. This